Well, hey, suckers. Happy Monday afternoon. All right, it's time for your collective. Remember, this is a collective reading, so if it doesn't pertain to you or it doesn't resonate, keep scrolling. Don't make it fit. Remember, if you want a private reading, which will pertain to you and your situation, just book one. My link is in my bio, so you can book it easily, okay? In the meantime, remember, keep scrolling if it don't. It won't offend me if you don't watch the video. I get it. If it's not resonating, it's not resonating. I want you to find a message that will, okay? Don't make it fit. Please don't. And you don't have to send me a hundred comments saying this doesn't fit, this doesn't fit, this ain't right, this ain't right. It's a collective, okay? I get it. So, tap that screen. What's the message spirit for this person in this collective for these people? What's the message? Five of Wands. Somebody's being tested. Got a King of Swords. Okay, so... Somebody is trying to make a decision and they're being tested. You got seven of swords, so theft, deception, lies, and the fool, which is angel of innocence. So with com combined with seven of swords, I feel like there's trickery, manipulation here with the king of swords who's making a decision. And that's the test. Ace of Pentacles, there's an opportunity here, um, an opportunity that'll bring in abundance of love, possible money, a money opportunity. And with the Nine of Wands, there's termination for this opportunity. And with the Two of Wands, I feel like there's progress being made, some discoveries, some ideas regarding this opportunity here. And the Magician card, which is the Angel of Magic, I feel like this is what you've been manifesting double time. Because uh, the Ace of Pentacles is also a representation of manifestations coming true, and the Magician is definitely a manifestation. I also feel like you have needed to take some alone time and really, really do some soul searching to figure out what the fuck you want to do with your life if what you want to do with somebody in your life and whoever you are you've had some epiphanies you are ready to speak your truth you know exactly what you want don't want you also know that you've been tricked and been manipulated and so here you are now you've been manifesting a new opportunity and you want to do over with the with the magician and the ace of pentacles you want to try this shit again hmm and in the process of wanting to try this shit again, you're seeking advice with people around you, your peers, your acquaintances, friends, co-workers, uh, friends, family members, um, and they're all kind of giving you gossip about this person. And whoever you are, King of Swords, this is making you very much have trouble making a decision about this person. Um, you're being tested. Like I said, this is a divine test for you. And the gossip is another divine test. And yeah, this is people at your work that you're working with. People that you cooperate with um, is the ones that are giving you shit about this person. Hmm. Whoever you are in this collective. chariot card so yeah you you're being guided by these people and you're being guided wrong they're telling they're they're giving you this some sort of bullshit that you're falling for and they're manipulating you to do what they want you to do so this guidance that you're getting is false guidance not the right way not where you need to be not where you want to go i can tell you that Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. You want to take action. That's what you want to do, okay? You're determined to take action. You want to do something. You're tired of being stagnant and stalemate. You know the truth. You have an epiphany, and you're ready to move forward. You've made discoveries, and you're manifesting this person. And it's a new beginning that you want. Um, Four of Pentacles, yeah. 
I see that there is some sort of form of control over you. And, and that something that they're using to breadcrumb you in a way, uh, something that you feel like you need to protect, like your assets, your home life, your shit that you've purchased in the past, like big things like boats and cars and mud and stuff, you know, all that shit. Toys that you've purchased that you don't want to lose. A house, you know, assets, bank account, money, all that shit. But I see the sun card here and the sun card tells me that there's happiness a foot. Okay. So you have happiness ahead of, you have happiness in front of you. You have the ability to make a choice towards that happiness. You just got to look past all the bullshit. You know, it's kind of like you got to read through all the bullshit to get to the answer. And sometimes with gossip and people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and blah, 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 blah about you, 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 this, 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 this. Is because they're fucking jealous. They have no fucking life. And they need to get a fucking life. And fucking stop doing that shit, you loser. And the only reason they're doing it is because they know they're a loser inside them. Sorry. Sorry, I digress. Anyway. So, with the Six of Cups here, this person is definitely from your past. Possible soul tie. Four of Cups? Yeah. I feel like your person is, is with the help of other people, uh, feels like that you're indifferent. Okay? Feels like that you are indifferent about them. They're not sure about how you feel about them. Well, whoever you are, in this collective, if you are not, if you're the one that's not sure and you're the one that's being told blah, 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 blah bullshit about this person, then I need you to know this. They're not indifferent about you. They are still 100% head over heels in love with you. And it does not matter what you did wrong. Forgiveness is imminent. Period. The inevitable. What did I say? Lovers. Like I said, this person loves you. No matter what you did wrong, no matter what mistakes you made, they love you. And they just want to be with you. They don't care how. As long as it's two-sided, 100% honest, they will take you back. Three of Cups. Here we go. Okay. The Three of Cups is celebration with friends and relatives and all that shit. And this is something that you can celebrate. But these people that you're involved with, this, this third party that you're involved with, this is not somebody you... It's not somebody you need to trust. The Hierophant. Yeah. Okay. This relationship, you get together. Okay. It needs to be guided the right way. And the, the right people who you talk to will give you the right advice. And let me tell you something. That's when you'll celebrate for sure with the right people, the right group, the righteous group. Okay, not these people that are nasty and toxic and deceptive losers who have no fucking life of their own. So they have to ruin other people's life. You know, it's called misery likes company or they're just fucking jealous, period. Three of swords. Here we go. Here's where all the heartbreak, the heartache comes in. You continue to listen to these other people, you're going to be heartbroken for the rest of your life. You will never, ever be happy. Hmm. What did I say? Heartbreak, endings, loss, betrayal from these third-party fuckers. Get rid of them. Leave what no longer serves you behind. Move forward. Go get your bitch. <laughs> Go get yours. I love you.